on on. We have an interview ready with them, though, so we'll bring them up and ask them a couple questions. Bio, nice to finally meet you, by the way. Congra hey. Congratulations. Hey. hey, nice to meet you, too. All right, so let's talk about your team over the last five weeks. You came very close to making the final three in the Invitational Qualifiers, and I'm actually going to ignore Pro League for just a second here and say... You played an awful lot of games through those qualifiers. How instrumental were those matches in helping your team grow, find its footing, and continue to improve as a roster against top-tier competition? Um, I mean, from the beginning, like, we have, we just picked up our coach, Tom Tomas, as a player. He's very young. His first season of comp was in Challenger League. And then we also have Crusher. Even though Crusher played uh, Challenger League when Challenger League first was a thing, he still took like a year off. So this is like his first real season back last CL season. And then coming into pro league season, he was, uh, he was really nervous too. But like those two players are some of the top young players I've ever played with. So like they just needed the, the experience to know that like, you know, they can play at this level and they finally got it um, in all those matches we played. Yeah. Tomas in particular really seemed to come alive in the qualifiers and has made a hell of an entrance on your team, which just furthers the, uh, the assumption that coaches really can help a team out when they come on in. Now, in your actual play going up against Rise Nation, you saw that Rise Nation played this map against Orglis just a couple days back. You played it against Dark Zero, but the way you played against Dark Zero seemed to differ quite a lot. So how many of your strats carried over, and which ones did you say, hey, let's make some adjustments now that we do have Tomas being more familiarized with the team? against Rise Nation, who you had some footage on? Actually, most of the strats that we do on attack, even though we do, like, practice a lot, most of them are, like, on the fly, and I just see where people are, and I just tell people, like, what to do. So versus, like, DZ, I noticed, like, they don't play anyone below, so we didn't have to worry about anyone below, just like Rise, They don't play anyone below, so we don't have to worry about it. We can just focus on the site and get map control. And Rise is just like DZ. They don't play anyone on the opposite side of the map which you're attacking so you can get it for free so it's just instant map control for us and the only reason why we like flipped the push that one time av is because uh i just wanted to like change it up because they were countering it very hard the second time they beat us so perfect um anything that you want to say about your teammates by the way the fans the sponsors etc seeing as how this is i believe this is this is the first time that we've ever actually spoken in any real capacity and of course it's your uh, i got to talk to uh, your good friend achieved the other day anything to say as we end off the interview um i'm gonna say uh thanks to all the fans that we have for accelerate the org thanks for supporting us uh thanks to all the haters and doubters because you guys really help us a lot and then uh I think good ga good game to those guys on Rise. Those are my boys over there, but uh, we had to come out with the win today. This is a big victory for you, and hopefully we'll see more out of the team as you continue to groove, continue to groove with each other, improve and adapt as well. Thank you very much, and all the best in your next matches. Uh, thank you. Thanks. So a pretty impressive victory over Rise, who really need to do something over these next couple games.